Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Evan Batten from Low Standard Fishing, and I'm here with my friend King Croft from Low Standard Fishing, and we're going to be here doing the February MTV unboxing. So. Wait, something's not right. Alright, so here we got the month of February mystery tackle box. Yeah, it's backwards, but that's just how the camera works. So inside, oh, okay, I'm sitting on a trash can, it just moved. So inside, we got our, uh, what do we got here? We got our thing with all the prices on it. I'll let Katie read these off. He'll be our announcer, not right now, though, so. And then we got your Catch Co sticker, which this is really cool. I think I'll put that on my kayak. Uh, yeah, apparently they send you a new one every time. I didn't know that. So, I'll be using that. So, just put that back in there. And, uh, I don't need this anymore. So, you know, whatever. Okay, so, forgot to mention, I forgot this was out in the, the box. I didn't, it wasn't in the box. So, you, you got a magazine with this guy on it. And it teaches you how to use all the baits that you got in your tackle box. Okay, I'm gonna look through that. So, first up, what do we got? What do we got, Ken? Uh, the uh, jerk bait. Okay. Yeah. That yes, it is a jerk bait. You okay. hold it up closer. What, what kind of jerk bait is it, Ken? Uh. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's it called? It's a uh, Kraken. A Kraken jerkbait. A Kraken jerkbait? What does what is, what is the words under it say? Uh, Lunk Hunter. Lunker? Lunk, wait, let me see. Lunker Hunt. Lunker Hunt Kraken, Kraken jerkbait. And what is this real t retail for? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So, yeah. This, uh, this jerkbait retails for three ninety nine, And, uh, actually in the little magazine you get, it's got tips and tricks on how to use a jerk bait. I know you can't read it because it's backwards, so, but uh, that's just what it does. So I think that's pretty cool, just in case you don't know how to, now you do. So, anyways, I don't know how to use a jerk bait, so I'll be reading that, and then I'll go know what to do when I know when it's time to throw that. Alright, so next up on our list, we got the... Bruiser bait stick worm, which retails for two dollars and fifteen cents. They come in a pack of four. That's two, cause um, cause I used two already. And uh, so you know, four minus two equals two. And anyways, I'll let Caden tell you. Um, about them. some things that I like about this is the color. It's Black and blue with blue flakes. Nice color. For I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's many ways that you can rig these up. You can use a rack. Uh, Texas, Texas rig. Yeah, Texas rig. Uh, wacky rig. Wacky rig. Yeah, you can wacky yeah. rig. You could probably wacky rig these rigs. These. And. That's pretty nice. That's, I think, all that I know, at least, and him. That's all that, that's all that we, we really use. There's more ways, of course, that you could do it, but that's yeah. what we use for pond fishing. And then, if it doesn't tell you in, in this the magazine, magazine. I don't know if it does tell you in the magazine how to use it. But. It might, but here, let me look through. Check real quick. Yeah. Um, no, it, no, it doesn't. So you're gonna so, have to figure that out yourself. Um, or we can just tell them. Or we can tell them. So a little bit. Of, um, what you? What they're you, called. Another word for them is senkos, because you just, I guess, let them okay. sink. Uh, and and that's not why they're called senkos. Okay. There's actually a brand called the Yamamoto senkos, but pretty much anything that looks like this, I just call a senko. Yeah. So what you do with these is you Texas rig them or you wacky rig them or Texas rig them. And you just, they sit flat like this and then whenever they sink to the bottom, they just kind of, you don't, you rig them weightless. 
And when they fall, I don't know, the bass just see it like a dying fish, and then they eat them. And then you'll and then you catch it. You'll slowly reel it in and flick it every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Make it bounce up and down. You know, do stuff that bass like. Give it so. some good action. Uh, there you go. What we got next, kid? Uh, we got the Big Bite Baits Swim Crawl. Retail is three forty nine. Okay, so Big Bite Baits. What's it called? Big swim Bite Baits Baits Swim Crawl. And uh, so these come in a pack of six. They are uh, here. Let's see. There, one thing you can notice just by looking at the package is that they have a lot of salt on them. If you see all those white specks, those salt, you know, they like, companies like to put salt on their baits, but this is a lot of salt, like. A lot. A lot. So, like I can feel salt just by grabbing it. So, anyways, that's pretty much what it looks like, uh, just like that. and. I've actually used these once before. If you look down the middle, they're actually hollow on the inside, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't, I don't really know much about fishing with crawls because I don't usually do it. I, I don't know. This is not what I'm good at. So salty. Yeah, it's very, very salty. So I don't know. I, I'll have to experiment with this. I don't know if it says anything in the uh, the book here so that'll just be a fun thing to try maybe whenever the bass start picking up where we live yeah so big bite big bite baits swim crawl swim, swim crawl. crawl that's it for that one next up on the the list of things that we got is the mustad big bite soft plastic hook Right there comes in a pack of two. There's only one in there because I've I've actually put one, used one for one of my rods, and it has one of those uh, breezer baits, senkos or stick baits that I showed you earlier on it. So that's going to be an all MTB setup right there. Yeah. And uh, these real tape, real, real, real tape, real retail, retail for. One dollar and ninety nine cents. Very cheap, pro. So, so they're pretty good. The size is a five aught. Uh, again, comes in packs of two. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty, pretty, pretty big, strong. Pretty big. I, I know Musta has really good hooks. Oh, they're, really uh, they're really good for rigging up like the. Uh, let me see this. Stick baits and stuff. Yeah, the stick baits and stuff like that. Only Swim thing, crawl, not so much. Only thing I don't, I don't really like about them. I mean, I, I mean, I'll take free fishing stuff anytime. But the yeah. only thing I don't like about it is that this, the tip where the, the Bar. thing, the barb is, is like aligned with not not completely aligned with that so whenever your bait goes on it's kind of at an angle like that so it doesn't really fall with that and natural motion. motion yeah so that's why i usually don't use these but i mean i don't know it's it's something so i'll take it yep. next up what do we got kid uh it is the slim shad d9 lucky craft lucky and the craft. retail price is Wow, fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So yeah, fifteen dollars, sixteen dollars. That's pretty crazy. That's more than the actual price that it costs for the for this box. Whole each entire. Month. Like this box is fifteen dollars a month, and that's a sixteen dollar lure, and that's just one of the one, two, three, four, five things I got. So yeah, you get pretty good value off these boxes. So. I mean, this is a nice deep diving uh, crankbait. Um, I don't really know what makes them so expensive other than the fact that they have really nice paint jobs. Colors. Yeah, nice, really, really nice colors. And uh, they 
maybe the fact that they're the action they give dollars. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, I don't know if I'm really will we use this very much for our fish because I fish in ponds probably anywhere from like five to six feet, and this probably dives a lot more than that. And we'll probably hook all yeah, the weeds lots. in the pond. I will catch in all of Mother Nature with this bait. There, no weed will be safe. Yep. And yeah, I don't I almost don't even know if I want to use it because you know if I lose that, it's almost like losing losing a twenty dollar you know, bill. The lost city of Atlantis, right? Yeah. Right on your pole. You know, uh, as we're throwing money into the done with this right card. The ocean. Yeah, that's that's done. I don't want to throw that lure over the thing because you know it's attached to my rod. Uh, so, anyways, y'all just saw that unboxing. So, what's going to happen now is we're going to make another video of our rods, rod setup, and stuff that we're going to take tomorrow. So, I'm going to just make that another video so we don't have like a a three hour long video yeah that no one wants to sit through so you know you can go check that go out. you know get yourself a snack go to the bathroom or whatever mm -hmm. come back and you won't be as bored yeah so make sure to like share and subscribe yeah make make sure to always do that for more empty bin boxings and fishing stuff remember 100 subscriber giveaway oh so. yeah 100 subscriber giveaway once you get to 100 subscribers we got that giveaway that's gonna happen so it's it has it hasn't happened yet, but once once we get to one hundred, we'll we'll give you the details. So yeah, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you. Low standard out.